And hello there folks, this is Uncle Troy. Today we're doing a little test. We're testing our uh, Samsung HMX F80 uh, video camcorder over here. And we've got our uh, Logitech HD webcam C510 over here. And which these are as close as I can get them by the way. And we're going to do a little test here under low light conditions because I noticed the other day when I was recording with the Samsung uh, HMX F80 that it did not uh, seem to record under low light level uh, conditions as well as the Logitech webcam did. So I was wondering which one of those do I need to use in the future to uh, to record in low light levels which would be pretty much all any indoor scene uh, seeing as I like to keep my light levels pretty low. And uh, this is very confusing because I've got the one camera over here, I've got the other camera over here, I've got the video monitor camera or whatever for one of them here and the other one's over here so that's going to be very confusing so if I'm not looking at you during this video I apologize alright so the first test is what we currently have here I've got basically oh by the way both these cameras are set to automatic uh, I know I could get into the uh, software with the Logitech webcam and I could change the brightness contrast settings etc I know I could get into the uh, firmware settings of the uh, Samsung camera. I could turn off the Smart Auto. Uh, I think that's what it's called and I could set things manually and I could get a much better picture but I also know that most people using these cameras set them up and go and that's what I'm testing here. Uh, under on the Samsung, or excuse me, on the Logitech HD Webcam C510 the software is called Right Light. Uh, I believe under the Samsung it's called Smart Auto so we need to test. Now this first test is with every light in the room turned on which I usually do not record uh, this because it's just too bright for me uh, and I, just based on what I can see on the screen right now both of these cameras seem to use this uh, light level very well. My face looks like a face. You can tell my facial expression. You can see all the gray hairs and the wrinkles and you can see our little Furby right back here. Anyway, he's back there somewhere it's hard to tell on these screens. Alright, but like I said, this is more light than I usually use, but under, we'll call this regular light conditions. Both cameras seem to work just fine. Let's turn off some lights and see uh, if there's any changes. Okay, I turned off one of the overhead lights that I normally don't use unless I'm reading or uh, trying to fill out some forms or something and I need a little extra light right here at the keyboard area. Although I'm sitting in front of my computer, part of the light that we're filming by is the screen of the computer right over here kind of shining at me uh, and the uh, Logitech webcam software here doesn't really show any difference it's a little the background's a little dimmer but my face and everything's still uh, lit up the Samson on the other hand shows that my background is very much dimmer now my face is still pretty lit up and in fact According to the little orange or little green uh, square around my face right now, uh, it's having an easier time tracking my face and keep. And I think it's got some kind of intelligent backlighting or something that uh, fills in a little extra, uh, little extra light on the face, just uh, to you know, keep it from washing out or whatever. So it's still doing a pretty good job of me, but the background looks kind of muddy just based on what's on the screen right now. Uh, of course, what happens after I edit edit this, there's no telling. So that's with what the light that I usually use for recording with the Logitech webcam. And it's this light level right now. Okay, now here we have the light levels that I usually have in the uh, in the room when I'm just playing on the computer when I'm not trying to record anything. Uh, we've got. Uh, a couple of lights either side, a fluorescent light pretty far off and uh, we've got a light, a window over here that's not putting out too much light today because it's pretty cloudy outside. Uh, once again the Samson uh, seems to be a little darker than the Logitech. Uh, the Logitech, I mean, I can still see who I am. Uh, the Samson seems to have part of my face over here in shadow. Uh, can't really make out many of the different uh, details in the background that uh, quilt that my grandmother made 50 years ago I think it is uh, it's about wore out but I still like it and I still sleep under it every night and I still like to have it in my backgrounds because it's a nice 
range of colors and let you know what's happening uh, you know with your color if your color is correct so uh, yeah I think right now the Logitech is the winner on this one in this low light level uh, but like I said this is the uh, average light I usually have when I'm just playing on the computer just doing things uh, the Samsung is I think in night mode of some type once in a great while I'm seeing a little green square appear around my face which means it's actually recognized it as a face and it tries to fill it in and it just flickers right out so I don't think it's doing too good of a job okay now we are in a pretty dark uh, room now I've got one light at the far end of the room on uh, this is when I wake up in the middle of the night and I just want to piddle around on the computer for a few minutes and I don't want to turn on the main lights so uh, the uh, illumination you see now is from the computer screen and from a fluorescent light on the far end of the room uh, again just a little bit of light from the uh, from the uh, window to the outside and uh, I can't really make out any details uh, the Logitech I've mostly got me a reddish blur the uh, the Samson actually seems to be color correct. It's not the reddish blur, uh, but it's too dark to really make any details. Make out any details. Now at this point, if I remember in post processing, I'm going to try to amp up the uh, brightness and the contrast and etc. and try to get a usable picture using the uh, software, my editing software, just to see what happens. So uh, let's see what that looks like. any good I can't tell well I won't be able to tell till after I've recorded this all right we got one more light we can turn off and then let's see if that makes any difference whatsoever okay I've turned off all the artificial lights in the room the only limitation we have now is uh, coming from the window the cloudy sky outside and the computer screen itself I'm gonna move closer to the computer screen and uh, try not to scare you but uh, there we go let's see and because of the way the cameras are set up I can get right in front of one of them or right in front of the other which is why I'm kind of dancing around here but uh, this is illumination basically from the white part of the computer screen itself which is just right over to the right of these cameras so uh, this is how they are and I'm gonna call this extremely low light conditions and of course when I back off over here I just kind of fade out so that's the uh, what the uh, various cameras look like in various low light conditions. Uh, again, this is a comparison of the Samsung HMX F80 and the uh, Logitech uh, HD webcam C510. And uh, both of these, if you're going to be shooting at night, obviously neither one of these is very uh, useful. The uh, Logitech webcam seems to do pretty good in what I would consider average room lighting. Uh, with the uh, Samson, I need a little bit more. Uh, both cameras, when I've tested them outdoors in direct sunlight, seem a little washed out. Uh, both cameras seem to do best when they are in uh, what I call filtered sunlight. A uh, little bit of shade, a little bit, little bit of overcast. That's the perfect amount of light. Now, after uh, all that dim, dark light. Um, it's actually pretty bright, pretty scary how uh, bright the uh, picture looks here on any of the screens. I'm also recording this on my Concord IQ 4363Z camera so you can get some idea of how uh, it compares to the uh, resolution of the Samsung and the Logitech. Uh, this records 320 by 240 uh, which is way, way, way below the resolution of the 1280 by 720 shared by the Samson and Logitech. And cue the, well, that's not HD uh, debate because I've seen some reviews of the Samson and the Logitech uh, webcams, both of them saying uh, this camera sucks because it's not HD, because it's not a full 1080p. And uh, having grown up in old days when television was analog and all video signals were analog and you were lucky to get 480i out of anything uh, which would be like the 240 of this camera that I'm recording right here I'm talking to you uh, that camera there uh, recording that one and then stretching it out like it's going to be in this video 
Uh, that's what I grew up seeing all the time. And so 720p is plenty for me and plenty for me to consider HD because it's not 1080, well, whoop de doo It's like two thirds of it. So it's plenty for me. So I don't want to get an argument about how uh, the Samson or the Logitech with their 1280 by 720 uh, recordings are not HD. Okay, uh, and this uh, also this Concord camera is going to be bouncing around quite a bit because uh, I only have one, the one tripod and I'm using it for the uh, Samson. The, uh, the Logitech's actually shoved into a floppy disk drive on my computer up here. Okay, uh, I think that's all I wanted to cover in this video. So uh, this is Uncle Troy signing out. Please have a good night. Bye to you. Bye to you. Bye to you.